Hello and welcome back to Thurry Place, the deadly challenge in more time, City of the Damned. We are four missions into the deadly challenge now, or the, the more time week. Well, not exactly four, this will be the fourth one. Uh, but you all know what I mean, I'm sure. So let's take a quick look here. Shade Warp is rank three, Tizamon rank five, Marius rank two. Then we've got Laszlo. This was the guy I had to rename, and now he's named Laszlo. Another character out of the Shadows of the Apt Universe. Then we've got Balkus on 5, Amnon on 5, and Salma on 1. And Aktabarik on rank 0. So that's a bit of a problem. We could switch Aktabarik with uh, Gavit, but I think we need to get him up as well. And we do have a mission available there that I like, and hopefully we can uh, utilize all of this. So let's take a look here. We already spent all of our scouts again in hopes of finding a deadly mission, and we did not. Yes, we did. I, I'm talking nonsense here. Um, yeah. So... We've got strike teams, we've got one warband is called Exploring, and uh, that worries me. <laughs> Exceptionally, but we're still going to do it, so we'll be right back with deployment. And here we are. Uh, our option objective is crush their will. I don't know if we will be able to do that, and we get to set up in the buildings, actually. So where is their car? Down there. So one group will be there, the other one probably up here somewhere, so that's where also where a lot of the word stone is. And the last one will probably be coming from over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so let's see how we want to set things up. I think I would like to go a lot up here, if possible. But I need to be on the ground floor for that somewhere. Um, this one is fine, I think. And we'll try to keep everybody pretty much adjacent to this setup. Uh, Laszlo, we might want to put up somewhere up high, though. If we have the chance. But more in this direction. So let me... Get him there. This could be good. Yeah, let's keep him up here. Maybe he can do something there. And we'll put Marius uh, pretty close to him. Oh. We could gather words done with him here. But I think we should probably focus on the good setup. Over the uh, potential for Wordstone here. Uh, this could be good as well. But it would separate him a little bit. Let's see. I do need to get over there somehow. Okay, we're moving in the right direction now. And I did want to go here on the... Oh, that one would have been good. Is that... Did I see Wordstone here? I did not. Okay, I thought I saw that there. So... I can put myself in the street here, though, which is what I want. We want to be f pretty close together with everybody, still. And I just need to get everybody there. So I think that's good. We're close to the words down there. Let's see if this is a little bit closer. Uh, probably still not. I don't want to be inside all of the buildings. There it is. Okay, this is fine, I think. Yep. Oh. And then there's Aktabarik. As our last one. Let's go through here once again and put him right there, I guess. And we are playing against another cult of the Possessed Warband. So one of them is over there. We already see that group. The next one will be up here, and that's where we want to go with everybody. 
So let's start moving in this direction. Okay, wow, I'm really lucky that none of that was uh, active in some sort of way. Let's start gathering these um, shards here. <clears throat> What's the warp effect? Ah, that's not nice. That's really not nice. But not much we can do about that, unfortunately. And we don't care about the OP for spell casting. Three shards is a decent start, though. And I think we're in a pretty okay position, considering where the rest of the warband is. We're fairly close to this group up here, but still in a position that won't they won't catch us completely off guard. Uh, Shade Warp. So with him, we could go a little bit more on the offensive if we want, but I don't think I want that. So what I will do with him is actually just switch weapons and set up I will cast one Weapons of Destruction here on Teasermon, I think. Yep, we can get him in range. Okay. And then I'll just go on Overwatch right down here. Okay, he is, of course, supposed to be up there. Okay, why is the destination point obstructed? I could just leap over. C couldn't, can't I? That seems to be a bug. I think I should be able to jump over there. And because he is down there, we just can't. So what I'm actually going to do is delay with him. So that we can move uh, Marius out of the way first. Hmm. So I think we kind of you remove these pillars again. I won't go for that word stone. It's just not worth it. Marius. Where do we want Marius to go? Maybe I can already take a shot with him or throw a globe. So there's three guys up there. So let's throw a globe there. Just in case. And then I'll run back. <laughs> as simple as that. And let's set up right here. So the five that will be going after um, Laszlo up there uh, worry me the most at the moment. And I did actually switch him off a bow to a short bow. Just so that he has a better initiative there. Let's try that, 65%, thank you. Uh, it might reduce his range a little bit, I don't know. But it gives him a better initiative and cr critical hit chance, I think. Well, the bow would give hit chance, which is nice as well, but I like the, the initiative bonus there. Okay, apparently they did run through the poison globe, so that's pretty good. Uh, who's up there? So, a hero, leader, and one henchman. If we can take them down, that would be a very beneficial to us, I'd say. Oh, is that a Doomweaver that is over there? Is that what this sign is? I don't know, but I think he might be. That would be cool if we could see him. Uh, but where is he going? It's still his turn. Okay, is one of the brethren up there? The one of these two? I assume so. And this position is pretty good. Um, maybe we'll pull Marius back again here as well. And see if we can do something with him. Because if we have to go up there... Um, We'll be out of place down here, unfortunately. 
So that's something to keep in mind. Okay. So far, so good. And let's just start moving up here. Uh, we need to catch them at some point. And they didn't go after us as aggressively this turn, so we will be able to reach them. Or at least in part. Let's take a look here. If we can gather some sort of information. We don't see... Oh, no, we see two of them. So, what? Where is the leader? Oh, back there. Uh, but we don't see the brethren right now. But that's fine, I would say. Hmm. So who will be going last? Akta, Barak, and Amnon, I believe. So here we've got Amnon, who will go in this direction as well. Um, yeah, pretty much. Let's ambush. Okay, so far this is looking pretty okay. And we can run Akta Barrack through. And ambush with him on this staircase in case somebody comes from over there, which might happen. A new round has started. And now we can get things going with Tizamon. So I should try to engage his mutant here. Because he will be going before their leader. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. I should try to charge him on top of everything. I, it doesn't look like as if he's in a charge. There it is. Okay. Oh, and now it's in the poison. This could have been handled a little bit better, maybe. <laughs> okay. That's at least decent. But I made a mistake here. I should not have done that. So I will be able to not disengage for whatever reason. Okay, this was a dumb idea. This was a really dumb idea. I need to jump down with Laszlo, unfortunately. And move him up. Oh, why? And I see nobody for whatever reason. Or does the shortbow have that short of a range that I just can't reach him yet? That would be a problem. Okay, Marius needs to get things going here. So we could shoot that guy. We could also poison their leader. But I think I'd rather go for the shot here with an aim bonus. Come on. Nice. Okay. That's at least decent. And I should be able to gather this word stone. Yes. Okay. Tizamon is in danger right now. That is without question. And we'll have to wait and see if we will be able to save him. Um, I really hope so, but I'm not entirely certain. And let's keep shooting here. That's one. Oh, because of the aim I have nothing left. Okay, weapons of destruction. That did work, and we didn't blow ourselves up, so that's a good bonus. Hmm, okay, he's down there. Is he... He's got a bow, okay, and he did jump down there. Poison go, does it think? Oh, nice, we dodged the first one. That's really important. Uh, that leader worries me, but maybe 
Um, Salma over there can intercept him. That would be for the best. We also have that Overwatch shot. Uh, the ambush did not go off though. Combat savvy. Oh boy. Yeah, not nice. Really not nice. And he had the words on, so we need to do that. Wow, that hurt a little bit. Not a good start there. I overextended myself. I should not have done it like that. Ah, oh, well, you, you live and learn. <laughs> But I shouldn't do it like this in a deadly. This is the biggest problem right now. That it is still a deadly mission. So he's in an ambush. But I can charge him instead. So let's do that. And we hit him. Awesome. That's pretty good. And I hope that this will allow us to overwhelm them. Oh, pretty good. What does that give us? Melee damage increase. Let's charge and hope that we hit. Awesome. Okay, now at least this guy will have to check for all alone already. Hmm. I think we can turn this around. T losing Tizamon is pretty bad, and I'm worried about he the injury he will get out of this. But... At least uh, his death served uh, somewhat of a purpose, I feel like. Let's get Amnon in here as well and just attack with him twice. It will. Let's loot first, though. Uh, get the armband and the mace as well. Awesome, a po positive one. Ranged and melee resistance. Awesome. So let's hit up twice. We just want him to keep we, we want to keep him locked down. And Amnon can take a little bit more of a beating here. With his heavy armor and stuff. Okay, that's Do they have two Doom Weavers? Or am I mistaking things here? So this group could come up here, and I'm I abandoned the optional objective completely in the beginning because I knew that I could get this group and I really want this group and then there's the guy down there that belongs to this group initially at least and getting a hero and a leader down will be a big blow to their morale okay he's climbing back up but he didn't get there the first time so if he comes up here for us that is probably our best case scenario we don't have to get down there and get him ourselves He's nice enough to get up and get close to us. Okay, Akta Barik. Let's hit their leader. If you can fit on there, which you cannot, so... I'll try it for you to reach this guy. Awesome. Good, good hit. I don't want to charge into the poison there, that's why I uh, decided against that. Let's go for an aim and hit the leader. Uh, reload and that will be it for him. Come on, we don't see anybody from down here, and I doubt that this will be enough to, to lower their morale. Uh, so I am a bit not worried, especially, but it will make things more difficult, definitely. Oh wow, really a miss there. Was that necessary? <laughs> Let's try that again. Yep, apparently it's necessary. Okay, we still can use Weapons of Destruction once, and we'll put that on Amnon. He's got two attacks, and he's the only one that is engaged with the mutant. So I'd rather have him 
buffed up a little. Okay, mind eaten does what? We can no longer spell cast. Ah, it happens. So can I throw a globe that will hit both of these guys, but not my guys? Apparently I cannot. So let's shoot this guy. And we'll stick with the mutant. If we can kill him, nice. That's really, really good. Uh, because his turn would have come up after this guy. And so that's pretty helpful. And the leader, I don't think that he's immune to, to all alone checks. So he will have to check for all alone. And if he fails that, that could be awesome. Nope, he succeeds. Casting weapons of destruction on himself. And that's not good. The hammer does deal a lot of damage. Boot of chaos. Maybe he blows himself up. Ah, not quite. But the direction was at least the right one. And all of that for basically nothing. Okay, so this is still our dream scenario right now. Losing Tizemon was a little bit of a hiccup, but aside from that, things are looking pretty okay right now. And we should be able to gather all that wordstone down there, uh, I'd say. And we'll see. Okay, that takes care of the dodge at least. Uh, but aside from that, nothing else we can do there. One more hit should do him in. Um, the question is who will be able to do that? Okay, let's actually delay with him. Maybe we can move him afterwards. With a little bit of luck. It all depends if we manage to take down this guy or not. So where are they? This confuses me a little bit. Okay, nice. Wow, the weapons of destruction are really doing a good job here. And we can just engage here as well. Oh, too bad. Ow, that arrow through <laughs> our wrist. You shouldn't be able to hold that sword there, buddy. So this guy will have to check for all alone. And he is the last one going this turn, so he might get hit twice more. Or, no, even worse, let's move Balkus there as well. I'd say. Oh, yeah, we delayed with him. I forgot. Well, he might be useful. Yep, we get three free attacks. Awesome. That's two. And number three. Ah, not quite enough, but it did do a lot. But chasing him down will be a bit annoying. Let's see if Akhtabari can finish the job. He certainly could use the... Uh, the experience. Nope, we missed, but he'll take him down next turn then. A new round has That I can started. live with. So let's start moving down here and collect this sword stone. And I'll also take the fragment there. It, I won't need to move for that. Okay, nice. And of course, every little bit we can collect here does count. Mm -hmm, one more. Another shard. No clusters whatsoever in our range. There, there should be. Uh, quite a few on the map, actually, but we just don't know where they are. They might be uh, someplace else. And that one Doomweaver, if that's a Doomweaver, I think it is, is down there by now. So they'll be beside our card. I hope they won't steal our idol. I don't think I've ever seen the AI do that, but I don't know if that means they won't or just that it didn't happen so far. They might do so now. Yeah, let's reload with with Marius and 
Okay, there they are. Let's throw out a poison globe. We do put him in a little bit of danger, but I think it should be fine. We can move Shade Warp back as well. And... Yeah, I think we're just going to reload with him and put him in an Overwatch. Oh, I could alternatively shoot. Uh, yeah, so let's just shoot him preemptively. A crit could have happened there. I don't know. <laughs> Some of them are Alice at 52. Oh no, it's a Marauder. Yep, not a... I keep mixing them up. Or I start mixing them up now, apparently. <laughs> uh, so we still haven't seen one of those guys. Uh, okay. So we're still missing the main body of their henchmen. I really don't know where they are. Not that I'm complaining, but it is a little bit weird. Selma, we should just do, start moving down this way as well. Because the Marauder will will get come for us. And pretty soon as well. So we need to be prepared there. And even if we don't collect any clusters, maybe we'll get them as a battleground... Um, Yep, I'm missing the word here once again. Bonus? It's not quite right, but you all understand what I mean, I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we still should get a decent amount of words done out of this. And we actually do have some shards here. Oh wow, he's stupid. That does explain his erratic movement. Oh, surprise, surprise. He has a big hammer. And we're all alone back here with him now. So he might kill us. Yep. Things are not looking good here. This is bad. So I need to move somebody back here again, maybe. I should have just committed somebody over there. Instead of doing what I did. Let's see. Can we maybe get Laszlo over there? Uh, no, that won't. would take too long. I think... So that could be bad up there. Okay, here comes... A Brethren. That ambush is in an okay position. And I think we'll just keep shooting this guy for now. Even if he's stupid. Or probably especially since he's stupid. And I should be able to get three shots in here. Okay, two out of three is a decent amount at least. And let's move back to here. So do I want to shoot this guy? Probably, I would say. And let's run away with Marius as well. Uh, nope. Let's keep him here and reload. Okay. End of turn. Hmm. So he his turn is pretty soon again. He, he got hit by a trap and had a reduced initiative. Okay, he failed a stupidity check again. Oh boy, the the guy up there. I hope he won't take down Aktabarek. That would be horrible. So I doubt that I will be able to get back there, but let's uh, check that real quick. Yeah, it won't happen. Let's turn around again. So he's on his own, basically, and we just have to hope that he can do it. And the game just froze. I hope you can still hear me. 
Um, okay. Wow, that scared me for a moment there. Let's see if we can get that without him ambushing us. Nope, it's not happening. But that's that's okay. Not if we miss him, though. Then it's not okay. Oh, it, it. I'm still nervous about this, for obvious reason. It's a deadly mission, and it's just not easy. Wow, another miss there. On an eighty percent chance this time. Hmm, not nice. And I hope that he won't kill us now with his one attack. I don't know if he can deal enough damage, but he might be able to. The hammer did look like it did a lot of damage. I think the first time was around 50 somewhere. Yep, that's just awesome. Really? That needed to happen? <sighs> it's my own fault. It's my own fault. Yes, it is. Let's move Amnon back here. Not much I can do about that. I can just hope that Aktabarik doesn't die. A new round has started. <laughs> that was really annoying. That it's my it's my own fault. That's basically it. But still, it's a bit unfortunate, at least. And let's keep hitting this guy with shots. He failed us all alone. Perfect. Um, come on. Okay. And not much more here. The poison is gone by now. So maybe we'll engage him. But I don't know yet. We'll we'll see about that. Why well, should I should end my turn? Let's reload. And I think I'd rather try to take as many shots as possible again. Even though it won't be a 95% hit chance. Okay, two hits. He's almost down. Even with the last shot, we shouldn't be able to take him down. Maybe with a crit, but it doesn't happen. Okay. The archery brigade is in. <laughs> that he failed his stupidity test that many times is really good. And we just have to wait and see if he fails it now. He does not, so where does he go? Yep, he's... No, he's going for Laszlo. One more attack. Oh. Oh, but only... Okay. Thank you. So that should not be enough to take down Laszlo. We hopefully will be able to kill him before that happens. Oh, no. Jumpity -dum. Somebody jumps down there. Please don't get here in time. Okay, he... He didn't come here. Awesome. That is pretty important. Uh, we mostly try to tie this guy down and not really kill him. We're not dealing enough damage. The guy on the other side, though, might be able to do that. Okay, nice. They have so many hit points on Deadly. That's always surprising. And they deal a lot more damage. Oh, no. One more. Okay, he... He won't go further than this. We're still good for the time being. Oh, the jerk. He switched back to ranged. Will I be able to reach him? Only with the charge, so I won't get more than one attack here. And it's not enough. Ah, uh, How many hit points does he have left? Six. I could have taken him down if I had dealt a little a bit more damage, has which would have been possible, at least. Okay, let's... Uh, I cannot disengage, so let's switch weapons. It still won't help me a lot here. Oh no, why did he have to stun us? 
That is so bad. That is so bad. I don't like this. Why can't I shoot him? Come on. No. That's not how this is supposed to go. You're supposed to kill him. I missed with both of them. Oh, really? Yeah, I need to sh please. No! Oh, come on. Things were going so good. And now I will have to deal with another round of attacks from him. And he will take down Laszlo. <sighs> we were doing so good in the Deadly Challenge. Well, cons all things considering. And now, because I miss a whole round of shooting, we'll lose another guy. And he can go and attack another one. That's just bad. This annoys me just a little bit. I hope we will still be fine, but this is is a problem, definitely. Our morale is exactly the same again, and our threshold is a little bit higher or lower than theirs. This is not good. And we still don't know what will happen up here. He could... Well, Amnon does have over 100 hit points, so he probably won't be able to kill us and if he misses that's important he still gets his dodge chance but we my god I can't talk anymore uh... oh come on really I can't hit him this shouldn't be happening he should be dead three times over by now at least we get to hit this guy uh, it won't save us that's the big problem here and then there's this dark soul that got stuck there and will come run around now and take down Balkus. No, we dodged. Oh, wow. That was close. We're still in this. One dodge. Please. Thank you. That was so important. They still aren't routing, but at least we've taken care of that guy. A new round has started. Oh, no, you won't take him down. That's not what's going to happen. Yes, thank you. 85, come on. Finally. So now they need to check for routing. Let's loot these back. And the weapons as well if possible, but uh, not yet with him at least. Uh, with somebody else there. Let's switch weapons. And engage here. But Shade Warp should be able to loot this. So we'll take all of these. The maces and the short bow at least. Okay, uh, let's... Yeah, we might as well hit him with a name. I can't really... The Brethren I probably couldn't really hit that good. Not uh, that well. So we're just not going to try. One Weapons of Destruction is all we have left. Uh, yeah, let's put it on Balkus. I think he sh his turn should go first if things comes down to it. come down to it. Ah, the, 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 the. It's been a long day. I can't talk. But they failed their route test. So we won. It was a little bit nerve-wracking there. No clusters whatsoever again, unfortunately. Holy moly. So three of ours went down. The question is, what will happen with you them? You have proven yourself worthy of the dark blessings But it's a deadly chaos. mission that we won. And Each that's what makes me the, the happiest Lord right now. That much closer to your destiny. 
Holy crap. Okay. What will happen? <sighs> no, really? Ah, that's just perfect. Okay, so Tizamon is it's dead. It's over for this one. <laughs> Some light wounds on Balkus because of the crits. Outstanding. Some are leveled up. Near death experience is pretty awesome. Full recovery on Aktabarik. Okay. So this is still a pretty bad blow to our warband losing Tizamon. He was our best unit. And now he's gone. So that's just horrible. Let's pay all of the treatment. And switch things around a little bit. So Laszlo is out. We can give him the short bow back and the mace back as well, though. And we lost the blue light armor. Is that right? Did he wear that? He did wear light armor, didn't he? Why is he not doing that anymore? I think we lost that. So we can switch him with um, Gavit. But we still need to fill one henchman slot. So do I need to f buy yet another henchman? Maybe. So what we definitely need to do is buy a hero. And now we will take one of the rank 4 uh, Doomweavers to replace him for now. Let's go with this one. And we'll just check out live what they can do. So they've got a passive, favorite. Increases the chance to trigger a Zinch curse by 10% and only curses with areas of effects will ever be triggered. What? That is creepy. Boon of Ruin. Single ally or enemy. Reduces the cost of counterattack by one offense point and increases melee hit chance by 10%. When performing a melee attack, inflicts 10 to 20. Well, when performing a melee attack, inflicts 10 to 20 damage to self. Not stackable. Okay, that is weird. What does he have available there? Warp accretion increases wordstone resistance. Gathering a wordstone increases critical resistance. Idol of Blood, summons an idol at target area, allies near the totem cannot use flee or disengage, are immune to all alone and gain 5 wounds when dealing melee damage. The idol must be placed on a walk walkable area and can be destroyed by enemies, only one idol may be created per turn. Another idol that gives magic resistance and has their spellcasting cost reduced by 1 offense point for arcane spells and 1 offense point for divine spells. Lust. Gain a buff so that reduces morale impact by 2 and increases stun and critical resistance. Okay. Idol of Pestilence. Enemies have their 9 primary attributes reduced by 2. Cannot be low 1. Okay. Uh, deals damage. This one is pretty good. And reduces armor absorption. I think we'll go with burning blood definitely. So let's put this up to 11 and then 2 in leadership. And here I'm going very heavily on dodge I would say. Uh, yeah, we don't want him to be hit. Weapon skill. Let's apply those changes. And get him the burning blood. Uh, we won't be able to master that. So let's also, I think, go maybe go with an idol. Um, but which one? Probably this one, because it reduces primary attributes, which I like, or the one that is... Oh, 
Idol of Change, maybe? Yeah, I think that could be a good setup, actually. Uh, that reduces spellcasting costs. For the skills, we'll definitely take uh, Sidestep. That's just a necessity. Uh, also, let's check out our points here. Um, so what are his stuff here? Chaos Evolution? Nope. That could be good. Dob of Change, Chance to Trigger Zinch Curse. I still don't know if I want to do that, because you want him up front and use him to stun others, apparently, and do stuff like that. It looks really weird. Increases spell damage. That will definitely go in. Uh, there's no question about that. Okay. And what active skills does he have here? Touch of Palsy. Melee attack. If hit, the target against the debuff, they reduce movement range. Okay, no. Increases melee critical hit chance of allies by 5% for one turn, but reduces critical resistance of the user. Uh, I can live with that, I think, and that does sound like a decent uh, skill to take. And as our last skill, I think I will be going with... Probably... Yeah, let's go with improved casting. Okay. Confirm. Now he's in. So I hope he can do some 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 good stuff here for us. And I need to look up a name for him as well. Uh yeah. We still need to replace Balkus, so let's buy another Dark Soul. On top of everything. <laughs> we are really going through the henchmen right now. But we still need to do that. Okay, let's do this. Switch them out. And then we can advance. Okay, we got paid there. Uh, so, this is where we'll end things for today. I still need to do some stuff, and I don't want to do that on camera. And we'll reveal the missions next time. Oh, let's let's see if we already have a deadly one. We do, actually. So, we might go for this one, I think. We'll see. So, that's where we're going to end things for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more and more time, just subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.